when Ethan Ampadu was lining up against Chelsea's youth development side back in October of last year. The Exeter City then 16-year-old was already very much on their radar. Confident, composed and authoritative with instantly recognizable dreadlocks as well as a father working in Arsenal's academy, Ampadu was always going to stand out. He had been through a trial with the Blues two years before and was also being linked with Liverpool and Manchester United. By July 1 he was a Chelsea player. Ampadu impressed that night at St James Park in the Checker Trade Trophy, most notably making an off-the-line clearance as Exeter 1-3-2. But even for those most invested in the young Welshman's talent, the 14 months since have produced a surprisingly quick rise. July, a move to the Premier League, September, first Chelsea appearance, October, first Chelsea start, November, international debut, December, first Premier League start. On Wednesday night he is due to make Antonio Conte's starting 11 again, playing in an EFL Cup quarter-final against Bournemouth, Premier League opposition again. It is a clear indication of the Italian's trust in a 17-year-old who has quickly risen to become his favourite youth option in this Chelsea squad. Conti has been delighted with Ampadu's progress and Chelsea's success in securing his services ahead of Arsenal, where his father Guam is manager of the under-18 side. Ampadu Jr. chose the Premier League champions, noting their recent history for producing young players, if not often for their own use and success in the FAR Youth Cup. Funnily enough he has ended up as the outlier, the youngest player being given regular opportunities in Chelsea's first team this season. We're not surprised, Paul Tisdale, Ampadu's former manager at Exeter, said earlier this season. We think he's got a wonderful future and we've heard about his progress over the last two or three months. To hear that he's selected, played really well and played 90 minutes, we're delighted for him but we're not surprised. He's a very talented, highly motivated young man and we think he'll do very well. Exeter are awaiting a tribunal to decide the fee they will get from Chelsea with the two clubs valuations of the player still some way apart. Their case will be boosted by his full Wales international debut, Ampadu now has two caps as well as his status of regularly kicking around with Eden Hazard and CEO at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea are likely to have to pay a small initial fee with further payments depending on Ampadu's future success. At the rate he's going at, even a cost of a few million looks great value. Comparisons with Rio Ferdinand, made by former Wales boss Chris Coleman, are not outrageous. Chelsea were impressed with the way Ampadu took to the pitch and barked out orders from midfield as a 17-year-old against Nottingham Forest as early as September. At Exeter, ex-boss Tisdale once said of the starlet's maturity, the biggest compliment I can pay him is that he plays like a 35-year-old. He has looked assured in his brief Chelsea first team outings since, including last week's Premier League bow as a substitute at Huddersfield Town. For a young player who once missed out on a Wales call-up and the League 2 playoffs to study for his GCSEs earlier this year, Ampadu is showing a talent for learning fast. Chelsea hope Wednesday night will be another examination where he can prove an ability to make the grade that few others have managed at Stamford Bridge in recent years.